Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, welcome again. In this video, we will continue our lesson, second degree equation, part two. First, at the end of this video, we will be able to recognize and solve special second degree equations. Solve equations leading to second degree equations. As usual, be ready before you start watching this video. Textbook pens, draft, copybook, calculator. Let us start. First, we are going to talk about how to solve special second degree equations. If we have a second degree equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a is non-zero, we have this property, one. If we notice that a plus b plus c equal to zero, you can find the roots directly without finding the discriminant delta. So you can say directly the roots are x1 equal 1 and x2 equal c over a. The second property, if you notice that a minus b plus c equal to 0, also you can find the roots directly. The first root x1 equal minus 1 and the second root x2 equal minus c over a. Let us see this example. Solve in R each of the following equations. a. You notice that here a is 4 and b is 1 and c is minus 5. So a plus b plus c equal 4 plus 1 plus minus 5. So you get 0. That means the first property is applied. So the roots are x1 equal 1 and x2 equal c over a equal minus 5 over 4. Another example, b. You notice that here a is 6, b is minus 5, c is minus 11. So a minus b plus c equal 6 minus minus 5, so it will be 6 plus 5, plus minus 11, so it will be minus 11, so 6 plus 5 minus 11 will be 0. So the second property is applied, thus the roots are x1 equal minus 1, and x2 equal minus c over a. Here is an application for you. Solve in R each of the following equations. First one, please stop the video and try to solve it. Another example, again stop the video and try to solve it. Now let us go to a new idea. Some equations are seems to be not second degree equations. But by doing some steps, you can transform it into second degree equations and solve them. Model 1. If we have a squared equal b squared, then you can say a equal b or a equal minus b. And this is because you can say a squared equal b squared then a squared minus b squared equal to 0. So you can factorize it, a minus b into a plus b equal to 0. So you get the two factors equal to 0. So a minus b equal to 0 or a plus b equal to 0. So you get a equal b or a equal minus b. Let us see this example. Solve in R this equation. x squared minus 2x plus 1 all of it squared equal 2x squared minus x all of it squared. The solution, first you can move to x squared minus x, all of it squared, to the left side, so the equations seems as you see. Now you can factorize it, you get these two factors equal to zero. 
When you have two factors equal to zero, so each one of them is zero. Now, after reducing and calculations, you get these two factors equal to zero. Then you say minus x squared minus x plus one equal to zero or 3x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. As you see here, there is two quadratic equations that are formed. So, let us solve them. First, ask yourself if the property 1 or 2 can be applied. For the first equation, here a is minus 1, b is minus 1, c is 1. So, a plus b plus c is not 0 and a minus b plus c is not zero also. So unfortunately we must solve it by using the long way by using delta. Delta, as you know, b squared minus 4ac, you get equal five, which is positive. That means we have two distinct roots, x1 equal minus one minus radical five over two, and x2 equal minus 1 plus radical 5 over 2. Do not forget the second equation. Again, ask yourself if a plus b plus c equal to 0 or a minus b plus c equal to 0 can be applied. If not, go to delta. You get here delta b squared minus 4ac. You get here delta equal minus 3. Thanks God. There is no real roots for this equation. Let us go for this application. Please solve in R the equation x squared minus 1 all of it squared equal 9x squared. Stop the video for a while and try to solve it as usual. Now let us go to the second model. If a over b equal to zero, then a equal to zero and b is not zero. Application, solve in R the equation x into five x squared plus x minus six over x squared minus one equal to zero. Please stop the video and try to solve it. The solution, first, in fact, you must start by the denominator to say that x squared minus 1 is different from 0. It is easy to find that x squared different from 1, so x is different from 1 and x different from minus 1. Remark, if the solution of this equation is one of these obtained numbers, then it will be rejected. Now, let us go to the numerator. x into 5x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. We have here two factors equal to zero. So if we have a times b equal to zero, so a equals zero or b equals zero. So x equals zero or five x squared plus x minus six equal to zero. It's clear that x equals zero is the first root. We have now five x squared plus x minus six equal to zero is a second degree equation. So we must find its roots. Let us ask if a plus b plus c equal to zero or a minus b plus c equal to zero. Look here, five is a, one is b, minus six is c. It's clear that a plus b plus c means five plus one minus six equal to zero. So, thanks God, we can find the roots directly without finding delta. So x1 is one, as you remember, and x2 equals c over a equal minus six over five. Note that the first solution, x1 equal 1, is equal to the number obtained when we put the denominator is not 0. So, this value, x1 equal 1, is rejected as we said in the remark. Now, what do you think about x2? Yes, as you said, 
x2 is accepted because it's not equal 1 and it's not equal minus 1. So finally the solutions are x equal 0 and x equal minus 6 over 5. These are the accepted solutions for this equation.